Okay, we've got the two uh, rectifier units side by side, and um, if you check the old one from ground, which the, the metal frame is ground to the B plus with the meter set on a diode setting, nothing in that direction. That's what the leads. And we have a reading of 1.04. We do the same with the new unit. Nothing in that direction. Just want the leads. 1.01. So the two units are comparable um, in readings. A reading which you would get if the thing was in situ inside the still inside the alternate casing or fitted to the vehicle. Um, but we'll have a look at testing the individual diodes. So we'll go back to a home setting. And from ground to the top of the first diode is 3.19 meg. Three point zero nine meg. And we get the same if we work our way around. On the old unit, bring some of the contacts up to try and uh, ensure reasonable reading. <coughs> Whoops, there it is. It. And on this side. It starts to read right, but if you touch on it, it goes to a direct short more or less. We're reading a 1.2 ohms, 1.1 ohms, which is effectively uh, crap. It's uh, pretty much a direct short. Next one along is uh, 3 meg. nearly three. Try this other dodgy uh, burnt one around this side, see what we get here. That one seems to be open, so totally, totally wrecked. So although it would read right in the vehicle, it's uh, it's clearly not, uh, not correct. And from this point, and the bed jumping about. So from ground to, oh there, there we go. Clean the contacts in order to try and get a decent reading, but still playing up. So that's the, the feed through direct. to the uh, contacts inside here for the engine management. There are three contacts inside, 12 volt and then two for the uh, engine management system to regulate the voltage. And uh, we'll get some readings from this and the new voltage regulator and just compare so that you can do uh, comparison checks. Okay, the uh, voltage regulator. Got the uh, meter on a home setting. 
This contact point is where the battery voltage comes in on the top pin. Um, the other two, as I said before, are for the engine management. So battery voltage comes into the brushes by this contact point. And this is the new unit. Uh, 0.48 meg, 0.5 effectively on the top, on the, on the 12 volt one. And on the middle peg we're looking at uh, 263k and on the bottom peg we're looking at 5.5 meg. So the crimped contact point, the uh, ECU contacts to the 12 volt 150k to the center 69k and to the lower 5 meg compare that to this unit on the 12 volt peg got 1k Centre peg uh, one one ohm, and on the bottom four point six meg. Over to the uh, ECU pins on the twelve volt pin, top one, uh, nothing. Center, nothing, and the lower, nothing. You can do this on a diode setting. Get some readings from that. So on the top 12 volt pin, we got uh, 0.6 volts. 0 0.00 three in middle and point five six on the lower compared to the new unit nothing on twelve volt one point three in the center and no reading on the lower Okay, so we'll get these um, fitted in place and we'll see how we go. Okay, we've got the unit assembled. We've uh, soldered the six contacts. And uh, securing screws are back in place, uh, both for the brush assembly and the voltage regulator. The brush assembly, in order to replace it, um, with it removed, stick your little finger inside and push the brushes back and then lower something, either a piece of wire uh, or a, uh, I used a, a sewing needle upside down, insert it in to hold the brushes back, slot it into place and then just withdraw the uh, object and uh, it, it fits goes back on nicely otherwise you'll struggle it'll be a right pain so we're uh, all ready for the for the cap to go back on and uh, we'll get it uh, get it fitted back on the vehicle and then we'll have a look at the end results see what we get catch you later well <coughs> it's back in place Nice and neatly located uh, down there. Uh, just as a point of interest, on the V50, you have to uh, slacken off the power steering pump from below in order to get space to remove and replace the alternator. Um, so now we've got a uh, nice charging voltage 
14.6, 14.7 Headlights on, nice load on it as usual Fabulous GD